hello guys this is current affairs plus channel where we bring to you the latest news in politics sports and entertainment we say thank you for stopping by before i proceed with today's news if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel there is a red subscription button below this video just go ahead and hit on that red subscribe button so that we you stay up to date with all our latest news and updates here is the news in details. The United Kingdom plans to deploy observers to monitor Saturday's governorship election in Edo State and the October 10 poll in Ondo State. This High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Lyon, said on Tuesday. She also spoke of a plan to take action against sponsors of violence, including travel ban to the United Kingdom. But it said the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Lyon has met with the leaders of the ruling or progressive Congress and the main opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP. The decision of the UK government were contained in a statement in Abuja by the High Commission to Nigeria. The statement reads, As a friend and partner of Nigeria, we are closely following the lead-up to the off-cycle governorship election in Edo and Ondo states scheduled for September 19 and October 10, respectively. These elections are important, both as an essential element of effective governance within both states and an indicator of the strength of Nigeria's democratic institutions. Our High Commissioner to Nigeria, Kashon Line, has held meetings with the leaders of the two main political parties, the APC and the PDP. The discussion focused on the need for the party's leaders to prevail on supporters to avoid violence before and after the elections, and we welcome the Edo candidate's signature of the National Peace Committee and INEC Convened Peace Accord yesterday. We will be deploying observation missions to both the Edo and Ondo elections and supporting civil society-led observation. The UK takes a strong stand against election-related violence, and just as we did in the general election in 2019, we continue to take action against individuals we identify as being responsible for violence during the elections. This could include restrictions on their eligibility to travel to the UK, restrictions on access to UK-based assets or prosecution under international law. The UK will continue to provide support and engagement as we move towards these elections. We urge INEC, the police, and all other agencies involved to work together to deliver free, fair, and credible election. Due to the behavior of Nigerian politicians, many of them have been enlisted in the ban list of United States of America. For example, the governor of Edo, the ex governor of Edo State, ex national chairman of APC, Adam Soshomale, has been banned, or his ban has been extended from entering the United States of America. Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje and Kogi Governor Yahebelo are also among those affected by the latest US extension sanctions. You know, according to U.S. officials, many more Nigerian politicians may be included on this list. And the list is not just only about traveling, it's also about affecting every of their assets in the United States of America. You see, those affected by the latest visa ban, they have been notified through email or text. They, that means they are aware. So those politicians who so will still perpetrate their evil plans in the coming elections, the world are watching. They are watching because all that is going on in Nigeria, many, many, many of the embassies, they are presented in Nigeria, every government, they are noting all what is going on. They are notifying their nations back home. So whatever they are doing, eyes are seeing them. Guys, thank you for saying bye.